You might be surprised if you had a child of your own. Sue Ann, are you all right? I'm fine. What's the matter? Nothing. It, it's just been a rough year. It's okay, sis. She and Robert... No, I'm all right, Michael. I can tell them. Robert and, and I, we've been trying to have a baby for several years now, but so far, no luck. You've been trying for years? Don't they have fertility drugs and surgeries and options now? <laughs> they do, and we tried everything money will buy. In the beginning, I thought maybe we just weren't lucky. And they started doing tests, and we found out there's more to it than that. It's such a humiliating experience. All that poking and prodding. You feel so guilty like something's wrong with you. In every conversation, it seems to be about babies and, and children. And every time I see the family, they ask, any news yet? I have this emptiness inside of me. And it doesn't seem to go away. Most of the women my age, they have kids that are in their teens now. I have friends at our country club, and, and they always tell me, they'll sit around and they'll complain about their children, and they look at me and they tell me how lucky I am to not have children. It makes me want to scream. But I don't say anything, because I don't want them to feel sorry for me. Can't you adopt? We're on lists for several agencies. I know it might seem selfish, but I want a baby of my own. I want an experience of watching a baby grow into a child and, and me be its mom. You know, if money could buy this, my own child, I'd spend every penny I had.